Hello friends, yeah, welcome to uh, Friday Night Live Honky Lee, uh, Facebook Live Edition, where we watch some YouTube videos and uh, make some video commentaries, okay, more relaxing time, okay, yeah, happy Friday, yeah, cheers, yeah. Hmm? yeah, well, uh, yesterday, uh, Harry, Harry's Trump debate, yeah, the seventh episode, okay, yeah, Harry's, uh, I mean, in the news, she does not want to build a border wall, right? Yeah, she's wrong about that. She she's talking about having more border agents and more strict rule for asylum cases. That's not gonna cut it, okay? Yeah, Harris need to adopt this Republican Party policy. It could yeah continue to building the southern border wall, okay? But she's not committing to that, okay? Because She's kind of enslaved by the Democratic Party, okay? Yeah, so. Yeah, Harris, yeah, kind of tra trailing Trump in the poll, very understandable because she has very bad policies, okay? Yeah. I mean, Trump, he's a convicted criminal, convicted felon, okay? Bad personality, bad character, he's old, he's crazy. But the uh, Republican Party has some good policies, okay? That's why Trump is getting more polling, more numbers in the polls, although he's so totally crazy and crazy old man Trump is, okay? But the Republican Party has better policies in than Democratic Party in so many different ways, okay? So uh, Harris being like slave of Democratic Party agenda, she's too weak uh, to overcome that Democratic bad policies like afraid of climate change and uh, hating oil and gas companies and refusing to continue to build a southern border wall. Yeah, building a southern border wall it could have been Trump's idea or his subordinate's idea because Trump, Biden, Harris, they're same bad kind of politicians, okay? Uh, when they are subordinate employees come up with the idea uh, they claim it as their own idea, okay? There's Trump, Biden, Harris, bad kind of politicians, okay? So they take credit for their employees' subordinates' ideas, okay? Yeah, but it could have come from Trump or his employees. I don't know, right? Yeah, so it's that's why I'm running for U.S. president, okay? Trump, bad personality. Harris, bad policy. Honky Lee? I'm independent, okay? I have good policies and I have good personality. Okay? Yeah, the best of both worlds, okay? That's why I'm running for US President 2024 as an independent thinker, okay? Okay? Okay. Well, there's politics side, okay? Last night I was too drunk, too tired. So I did not give enough commentary there. But here we are. Yeah, I gave the commentary here, okay? Okay, kind of leftover commentary, okay. Okay. Yeah, now let's appreciate uh, the other space, episode two. Yeah, Mr. Paul Feig and his colleagues, employees, and yeah. Very underappreciated uh, Yahoo TV show, okay. Now available in YouTube for free, okay. Yeah. Sci-fi comedy. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, it's very comforting and, uh, I mean, we'll skip some other parts, There's not edge of appropriate parts, okay, but mostly very comforting, very comfortable, soothing kind of TV show, mostly, okay? Yeah, sure. let's go. Yeah, Other Space, episode two, in YouTube, okay? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Everybody fudged up? Beautiful. Let's get going. <sighs> Morning, guys. Welcome back to space. Also, apologies to Chad for leaving him below deck for the universe switch. Our bad, bro. Hey, it's all good, bro. Oh, okay. Welcome, friends. Uh, Future of Thirst. Welcome. Off with a little security rundown. Happy Come Friday. Welcome, welcome. Second yeah. in command. Please be nice. She's trying. Mighty Karen proud of you. Lipinski. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Sorry about yesterday's coup attempt. 
Let's talk security. By my calculations, we're facing at least six types of serious existential risk. Semi-serious. It is all fang. The first risk is the most obvious. Future attacks from whatever it was that came yesterday. We don't know what it was, where it came from, or how to combat it if it shows up again. The second risk is malnutrition. According to my calculations, an all-fudge diet will lead to death within a matter of weeks. Won't happen. But even if it does, what a way to go. According to my calculations, it would be dreadful. Okay. Rampant sores, hallucinations. Mm -hmm. In a last-ditch attempt to survive, your body would try and start to digest its teeth. Oh, God. Oh, excuse us for a second. (laughs) Well, uh, we have to uh, skip that part, I guess. To be so dirty, you'll get to. Thank you, Anderson. Thanks. Oh, again. Two pieces of teenage, okay? We'll just skip that power cast. Hey, so these other three risk categories are dumb. <laughs> Possible loss of hull integrity. <laughs> risk of, of unknown pathogens. What's that? <laughs> and our collective lack of training. Whatever. Now, who wants to watch a video? Me. I'd love to watch a video. If you're watching this video, you have entered into a no-win, fatal predicament. What should you do? Let's go over some helpful tips. <laughs> Part 1. Cauterizing useless limbs. This standard issue cauterizer cuts through flesh, muscle, and bone. Oh. Are you guys done with this punch? Hey, Tina's. Oh, hey. What are you watching? Just a montage of gifts that Ted's given me. I know the music's happy, but I like it. Yeah, you do, huh? Ugh. Anywho, um, I was wondering uh, if you've uh, put together, like, beta schematic of all the nearby systems we talked about. Yeah, your job. you know, I started to, and then I was like, uh-huh. what's the point? For survival. <laughs> yeah, for... Yeah. It's kind of like Karen said, we're just going to die anyway. (laughs) So you check the heat panels for asymmetry, right? No, actually, I've been writing a goodbye letter to my parents. I think it's sweet that you miss your parents, Celia. But, you know, there's no way for us to get messages home. So your letter is worthless. Why don't you take all that energy and channel it into a good, solid triple check of those heat panels, okay? I'm just saying it might not be the worst thing to go easier on people. Look, we are in an alternate dimension, Stuart. We're not going to solve that with a goddamn pizza party. At the risk of starting this fight yet again, you have never been to a full-fledged pizza party before, so you have no idea how transformative they can be. Look, it is not my job to keep these people happy, okay? It is my job to keep them alive. It's a lot harder to keep people alive if they're too bummed out to work. Besides, you seem pretty confident in what your job is, considering I just had to give it back to you eight hours ago. Oh, yeah. Why don't I just listen to the guy who's been captain for a whole 13 hours? There we go. Thank you. I appreciate all the hard work that all of you have been doing, but I thought we should talk. You guys, this is a crazy thing that's happened to us, and, and we'll have an easier time if we deal with it together. Mm. I forgot to mention that this meeting features... Refreshment. Hmm. Is that a food generator? Where'd you get that? In an old half-sealed storage compartment in the holography room that Natasha told me about. Positivity plus teamwork equals boom. Stop talking, jerky club, please. Coming right up. What the hell is that? Uh, the hydrator function isn't currently working, but it's all in there. Things are starting to look up, am I right? Tastes like I'm eating a rabbit turd. Rabbit turds on chalk full of vitamins and minerals. Oh, yes, they are. You know what? If anyone is feeling down, then we'll be talking for the next hour. It's up to you. Well, I got some stuff to work through, and I don't remember where the engine room is from here, so, yeah, I'm in. Great. <laughs> Good time. Chad. I'll stay, too. No, you won't, because I'm ordering you to do a diagnostics triple check. People around here need to learn to love the triple check. Hey, hey, Captain, I don't have free will, so could you help? Oh, well, uh, sure. Uh, Natasha, I order you to stay here for as long as you like. Apologies, hmm. First Officer Lipinski. The Captain has superseded your order. I'm forced to remain here. 
You people do what you want. Michael and I will pick up your slack. Get up. Really? Get up. Because I thought this would be really good for me. I felt bad for Michael. Oh, yeah. Where I started out as a hospitality bot on the inaugural Hooters Casino Space Shuttle. And then I got sold to UMP in a package deal along with some elliptical machines. Well, we're here for you, and let us know if there's anything we can do for you. I would love free will. Yeah, it's not happening. Uh, no? Kent. I am Kent Wheeler. That's right, you were the first baby born on Mars. That is not a matter I am willing to discuss. Tina? Um, my name is Tina Shukshin. I'm from Tashkent, Uzbekistan. I'm practically engaged to a wonderful man named Ted. He's very handsome. You've probably seen him around. We're going to have three children, and we're going to name them Quinn, Jaden, and Quayden. Quayden? Quayden. Okay. Well, we have time to work on that. I miss him so much. What if he could hear you right now? Oh, my God. I would say the filthiest Really? Really? Yeah. Uh, so this is a good time for us to play a little role-playing game. Okay, let's pretend that I'm dead for now. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so what would you say to me? Ted? Yeah? You look terrible. Mm, I don't deserve this. Anything? No. For the millionth time, no sign of Hall compromise. Now, can we go back to the meeting? I'm extremely sad. You can talk to me, Michael. Really? Because ever since we got to this... Never mind, it's not working. Oh, yeah. Stewardess always gets so touchy-feely every time anything bad happens. It's like he lives and dies for the approval of other people. <laughs> Not me. I don't care if people hate me. Yeah, it shows. Thank you. Oh, my God. Is that good news? No, it's not good news, you jackass. Just asking. Life is a series of commas, not periods. Chad, I would do anything for you. Wow. Wow. Great stuff. So, looks like we've all talked through our grief, right? So, let's get back to work. Great. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Let's play Mafia. Uh, yes. Oh. Also, what is Mafia? There. I see it. Come on, it's still... I can see it. Okay. Well, I'm just saying there's a lot of it. So... Oh, my God. It accessed our central system. And by it... You mean like a, a, a like a... Keep it together. Keep it to, uh, yeah. I mean, keeping it so... We just have to make... Uh, oh my god, those are feet now. I don't think playing games is the best use of our time right now. I said you wanted everyone to cheer up. This is the fastest way to get us there, I promise. Is this actual ship weaponry? Okay, so first rule of Mafia is Mafia rocks. Second rule, you want to make sure that you kill the killer before the killer kills you. Damn it. Track speed out here. I'm sorry, we're in the middle of something. It's called Mafia. Can I help you? Someone in this game's an alien. There's a stranger among us, people. That's impossible. I know everyone here, don't you? Perhaps the intruder implanted false memories inside our heads. We were subject to group hallucinations only yesterday. Ah, yesterday. I forgot how we solved that whole problem. That's right. <laughs> Okay, I didn't fix it. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Will the crew member who's secretly an alien raise their hand, please? Oh, God. Natasha, can you run a ship's manifest? Is everybody supposed to be here? My access to the manifest seems to be blocked. Was anyone else just woken up by a loud alarm sound? Hey, Art, come over here. And, and you know what, Karen, Michael, we're going to need you to join Circle 2. I've never joined a circle, and I never will. Tina's right. Well, right's a stretch. She's got a point. Splitting up is too dangerous. Our safest bet is to stick together. I'm gonna do a room search, but have fun. Be sure to clear the weapon so the intruder doesn't blow a hole through the ship. Let's at least make this thing break a sweat while it kills us. Jesus, woman, what a trip. Okay, you're gonna sit in the interrogation chair and we're gonna decide if you're an alien. If we think you are, we throw you into the airlock and blast you into space, okay? Who wants to go first, Michael? In my spare time, I like to listen to music. I like saying the word chocolate, but I like eating vanilla. Don't you find Velcro loud? I do. Oh, this fellow's the feeblest excuse for a person I've ever heard of. What? 
Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree. I mean, no offense, Michael, but you're just like super boring and bland and generic in a way that only an alien would make up. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't. Okay, vote to kill Michael. Okay. Motion failed. <laughs> you survived a good job, buddy. Sorry. I am real, you guys. <laughs> Come on. You know I'm real. You're doing a whole lot of smiling for someone in this situation. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, she is in a strangely good mood. Oh my god, you guys, it's just my RA training kicking in. Behind this, like, assuring, beautiful smile was just a dark cloud of billowing emotional smoke and garbage. I mean, if I even start to take a Ted, I... Can we vote to exonerate her just so we don't have to hear about her boyfriend anymore? Yeah, yeah. Chad, 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 Chad. Okay, stop, stop. Chad, just for fun, okay? Tell us why you're not an alien. <laughs> you, me, and the bay at Monterey. Hell yeah, that was awesome! That's a good trip, man. <laughs> Play montage. Nice hardware. Why am I not an alien? I could be, man. It makes some sense. Wait, so you're not defending the idea that you're a person? Well, I've never felt that real. It's aliens people, I can vouch for him. Uh, no offense, but the word of a robot? I wasn't born a robot. This is just a vessel for my brainwaves. My real name is Howard Barnes. Wait, like the Howard Barnes, the inventor of smart pillows? I love smart pillows! That's me! You're welcome for those. Wait, but what's a billionaire inventor doing in a bargain bin body? I sunk my fortune into immortality robots. Uh, as a marketing ploy, I uploaded my brainwaves into this module and had my old body publicly burned. Proof of concept and all of that. In El Blick, we went out of business. Turns out people wanted elbows. Yeah, that's literally not a believable story. Yeah, I'm still getting an alien vibe. What if we're all the alien? What are you talking about? Well, we can't vote until Kent gets back from the bathroom, so let's just hang out. This sucks. Honestly, any of you could be the alien. I'd kill almost all of you. Wait a minute. I know who it is. The alien is clearly Stuart's sister. What? She's the only one who refused to play. She's the one who's desperate to examine our onboard technology. Uh, heck, even her name practically sounds like alien. Karen. Alien. Zalian, you hear it, right? Yeah. You got, we can't just name someone an alien because they're not fun. Yeah, but she's like really not fun. Well, she has her moments. Mm, she has no moments. Oh, no, 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 this isn't what I need. Ken? Did you only have a five-minute bathroom pass? You should probably get back to- Natasha, your programming is isolated from the main computer that's been compromised by the alien, right? Yes, why? Because I need some very specific information from you. But you have to keep it secret from the others. You can keep a secret, right? Uh... <laughs> for Stuart, so good enough for me. Let's kill Karen. No, 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 Michael, Michael, back me up. You've known Karen your whole life. I thought so, but who knows? I mean, wouldn't our lives make a little more sense without her in there messing us up? And Chad thinks it's her. He always knows what's up. Oh, you can count on it. We need to talk about Kent. Yeah, we do. No, 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 we know Kent's real. His mom is a UMP bigwig. I read about his birth. You read about a birth. Check it out. UNP Chairman Helen Volworth and the Red Planet welcome a smiling newborn boy on Tuesday. Mars Rover, Mars Rover, send baby Derek Francis Woolworth on over. Wait, Derek's a different name than Ken. My trip to the bathroom was a thundering success. Uh, can we talk about some questions about your family? Again, I would rather not discuss that. We're starting to think you're the intruder. What do you have to say to that? I don't think I'm an alien. However, we can't rule out the possibility that I've trained myself to forget my alien identity. In the Kent is an alien scenario that we seem to be discussing, I believe I would come as a peaceful creature, like a duck or a woman. Although, to play devil's advocate, why would I be skulking around like this if I wasn't planning on killing all of you? Uh, you're really not helping yourself, bud. <laughs> I'll kill this guy. No problem. Not yet. We don't have proof. But he's a weirdo. What kind of proof do we need? Hmm. Oh, you don't accept. Just breathe, buddy. Okay, just breathe. 
Don't scare anyone. Yes. Please still steal it from the deal! Jesus. That's all the proof I need. Let's put Ken in the airlock before he does anything else. Chad, not you, Chad. Chad, no, Chad. Chad, please. No, Chad! No! Chad! Ugh, why'd they use that one? That's the mistake, Chad! You, me, and Bay at Monterey. Monterey Bay's been underwater for over 30 years. Shut up, alien! Yeah, if it was underwater, then how come we went there with Chad and had the best night of our lives? Oh my god. It's not Ken, it's Chad. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, the logistics of our Monterey Beach trips are impossible. How could a ship's computer go on vacation? Chad is the alien. Chad can't be the alien, okay? Chad is awesome. He's fooling you. He's fooling all of you. <sighs> it's Karen. Karen's the alien. Oh, you guys, you guys, my sister can't be the alien. The key to this game is being able to read people. Exactly. Ah, what? No, 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 no! You are uh. the alien! We didn't even get to both! This is not a goddamn democracy. So smart! What are you doing? No, 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 no! Look at his face! Evil face! Evil face! He's making it again! Uh, question, uh, who's captain now? Might I throw my hat into the ring? Well, by rank, Michael. Well, uh, that's not the right sequence there, but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter there, but sure. Yeah, I think it's the right sequence. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you, Natasha. Well, I think the first. Chad! 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 What do you say, Chad? Will you be our captain? Uh, thank you to the other nominees. Ah! <laughs> he just mentioned me! This is crazy. Chad can't be an alien? Chad from Auxiliary Deck? I'm starting to think we don't have an Auxiliary Deck. I'm sorry, sis. I should have listened to you. No, no. If I hadn't been riding everyone so hard, people would have been willing to listen to me. I mean, you were right, you know, in certain rare situations, feelings do matter. Is anybody going to apologize to me? First, explain the guilt, man. I've only been a walking, talking human for a few months now. I spent the first 22 years of my life semi-comatose in a lukewarm chemical bath. My parents birthed me to be an organ farm for my older brother, Derek. Gills were the cheapest way to oxygenate my body. Wow. I was only revived this past spring when Derek died in a speed race against his coke dealer. They did let me watch movies while I was under. That's fine. That's good. Mostly old stuff. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. I am what you would call a loser. No. I'm not cool like Chad. <sighs> you're, Chad. You're better than Chad. Chad, yeah. Chad's... Chad. Just a, an empty vessel of, of all the things that we collectively think are cool. Surfing, relaxation, casual attitude towards safety. Kent, to me, you're cool. And if you're not cool, then F cool up the A-hole. Stuart? Yeah, I said it. Well, thank you. Your words will be a sweet soundtrack as I choke to death on the vacuum of space. Uh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Not tonight. Not going anywhere, kid. None of us are. Wanna know what's cooler than being cool? Breasts. Nature's trump card. Over preparation. Good stuff, sis. Chad still has everybody under his spell. I mean, that guy always has the coolest things. My rule is to break one sweat a day. That's gold. Fool's gold. I knew I knew him from somewhere. Where to, Captain? Oh, I've never been there, but I am excited to go. We're not following him anywhere. Your new captain here is a lie. You can't prove it. Everything Chad has said since he appeared on this ship 
has been a direct quotation from legendary actor, philanthropist, and naturalist, Matthew McConaughey. Natasha said that the alien accessed the onboard computer. Clearly, it did a search for cool. McConaughey's the first thing that comes up. Since then, it's just been spouting quotes that it downloaded. You really think I'd lie to you about something like this? Ben Finn Finnegan, a part played by Matthew McConaughey in Fool's Gold in 2008. And let me tell you this. The older you do get, the more rules they're going to try to get you to follow. Wooderson, Days and Confused, 1993. <gasps> <gasps> Africa is probably one of the, 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 the most beautiful places I have ever been. McConaughey himself. In a 2005 interview with Hollywood.com. I wish it could have been different, too. He's ripping off an American legend. It's plagiarism. Plagiarism is not cool. Right? All your love, all your hate, all your memory, all your pain, it was all the same thing. It's all the same dream. A dream that you had inside a locked room. A dream about being a person. And like a lot of dreams, there's a monster at the end of it. He got kind of boring once we figured him out. Last chance. Who are you and what do you want? Okay. A couple of years ago, my Uncle Roy got bit on the ass by a dog. Ed T. V. All right, it's time to flush him. Can I do it? Hold on. I'd like to say a few words. I know these are fake memories. They're still damn good ones. Yeah, well, uh, after that, it's kind of pissed off in okay? So, uh, we'll have to skip that power, okay? So, okay. Yeah, look, uh, let's take five minutes break, okay? So, yeah, it's a full five. Uh, yeah, who also directed one of the, the, uh, untraditional Hollywood movie, yeah. One of the Ghostbusters franchise, okay? Yeah, uh, if I make more money, yeah, I would buy the movie in Amazon Prime, okay. Yeah, maybe one day, okay. But yeah, Mr. Profile, very smart man, okay. Very creative, right off, character, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five minutes back, okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Five minutes back, thank you. Yeah. Hmm? Okay, five minutes, thank you. Yeah. All
Okay, welcome back, we're back. Uh, let me turn the heat off. It's kind of chilly. Yeah. Yeah, we're checking out some underground Hollywood, maybe middle ground, okay? So, yeah. Uh, uh, the kind of like movies, TV shows, just like uh, underappreciated in Hollywood, okay, so, yeah. Uh, next one, yeah, let's go to Mr. Paul, uh, well, we'll check out Mr. Paul Fogg and his colleagues, okay, so. Let's check out Stevie Marston, okay. Yeah, in social media, my policy is this, okay, yeah, if you're under 25, yeah, no dating, okay, just focus on education and quality development until you turn 25, okay, yeah. Dating, yeah, after you turn 25, okay, yeah, so, in human art school, okay, so, that's our recommendation, okay, so, okay, yeah, okay. yeah let's go to, uh, another underground Hollywood, okay, uh, underappreciated, okay, so, yeah, St uh, Stevie Morrison and his friends, sure, yeah, uh, it's a comedy, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Great casting. Yeah. Highly, highly. Very, very hilarious. Very, uh, more modern comedy, okay? It's like, uh, yeah, Stevie Morrison and his friends, okay? So his colleagues, okay? Underground Hollywood, okay? Yeah. Holly, Holly. Uh. Measure two. Holly effective and great comedy, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bella Major 2 in uh, Alaska. Uh, I, I don't want to go for, for against it, okay? It's too complicated, okay? So it's about rank choices. Yeah, but I like rank. Rank choices. I think rank choices is a good idea, okay? So, but it's too confusing to me the way they termed it, okay? So I'm not gonna vote for or against it, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, Stevie Morrison and his friends, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Great comment there, okay? Yeah. Very ingenious, very smart. Okay. Great. High talent on the road, Hollywood, okay? Yeah. In YouTube. Let's go. Yeah. My goodness, I am so sorry. I didn't even see you backing up. That's completely my fault. No, no, it's totally my fault. I just, I should have been more careful. Well, here's my insurance information. I went ahead and included my phone number, and uh, I'll go ahead and grab your phone number, just in case. <laughs> I have a boyfriend, so... Okay. I'm flattered, but no thank no, you. No, I'm saying I'll grab your phone number in case the insurance companies miss anything and then I can reach out to you. Okay. That's your move, the insurance company. That's original. Yeah. This is getting weird, so I'm actually going to go. If you'd like, I can have my insurance agent reach out. Yeah, okay, I'm... have your boy at the insurance company do the work for you because you can't do it yourself. Yeah. Pig. What? Oh my god, somebody help! Oh my god. Does anybody know CBR? I know CBR, I know CBR. Oh thank god, he's not responding. I think he needs help to know. Please hurry. <laughs> oh, that is just rich. Jesus Christ. I have a boyfriend. You expect me to put my lip on another man like that? You don't think I've seen the sandwich? Man, he doesn't have much time. He's not gonna pull a squint, okay? Help I'm me. not gonna cheat on my boyfriend to save another man's life. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Not that kind of a girl. Hey, sorry to bother you folks. Uh, do you mind just... Spreading some change for me? I have a boyfriend! 
So she'll spread the change. Here you go, man. Here's God bless you, okay, yeah, sir. Two crepes. We're teaming up together. Classic. Could get some burritos after. We're looking for your next meal. Let me tell you something, sir. Okay? Baby girl is not a snack. Disgusting. Yeah. I'll just have my insurance company reach out. You suck. Oh, Bye. My goodness, there's so many creeps out today. Oh, I need some peace and quiet. Oh my goodness, what's her name? Oh, no, no, actually, um, his name is Theo. He's a boy. Oh my god, I have a boyfriend. I'm just gonna walk around petting other men. Excuse me, miss. Can you help me cross the street? Boyfriend. Hi. Boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend. I have one. We just got home an hour ago, fresh from the hospital. <laughs> Meet the newest <laughs> member of your family. So adorable. He's your new nephew. Nephew? Oh, I have a boyfriend! This is the worst day. I am just so happy you're here. I mean, honestly, nobody gets me like you get me. Mm -hmm. I love you. I mean, it's only been like three days. I know. But we should. The Woody oh, okay. Field project was delayed for years. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Steven was like uh, his friends, okay? Yeah, very cool. Okay. Let's see the next one, okay? So, uh, uh, how about like a uh, 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 look, uh, Mr. C.B. must not never met him, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm 46. I, I think he may be in his 30s, okay? But I'm a huge fan, okay? He's younger than me, okay? By a decade, at least, okay? Underground Hollywood, okay? He started producing these short films, mostly comedy, okay? In YouTube, okay? Yeah. Very smart people. Stevie was saying his friends, okay. Uh, next one. Uh, Yeah. Homeless, homelessness, sure. Yeah. We want to help our homelessness uh, people, okay? Absolutely. Okay? Yeah, to raise awareness of homelessness situation, okay? Yeah. Okay? Why did Kamala to commit? Yeah. Yeah, we just need to make a lot of money, then we can help out homeless people, okay? So, okay? Yeah. Pass up your oil and gas and generalized uh, animal husbandry, okay? So, yeah. We can farm tigers, lions, feather pelts, meat, whatever, okay? So, we can make a lot of money by farming tigers, lions, elephants, bears too, okay? So, animal husbandry, okay? Okay, yeah. Then we make a lot of money, then we can help our homeless people. Okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, sure. Because we are compassionate, we are sympathetic, we want to help our homeless people, okay? Yeah. But to do that, we need to make a lot of money, okay? Yeah, let's farm animals like tigers, elephants. Whatever animals, leopards, yeah, sustainable farming of wild animals, tigers, lions, yeah, after that we harvest them, okay, sell their meat, bones, clothes, or pelt, like hide, leather, tusk, sure, that's my policy, okay, okay, yeah. because we want to help our homeless people. And we need money. Yeah. Animal farming, okay? Generalized animal farming. Okay? Sure. Okay, yeah. Let's go. 
Yeah, I'm running for U.S. president. Ten years for as an independent thinker. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to human art school. Okay. We are very creative here. Okay. So yeah, let's go. I'm so excited for this reveal. Wait, you could be a boy or a girl. I'm happy for him either way, you know? It's pleased me. Oh, shit. What? Thomas had one. Don't walk. Don't make eye contact with him, okay? I don't want him coming over here. Hey. Stop <laughs> it. There are people to him. Look, I know he's a person. I never said he's not a person. I just really don't want to deal with this today, so please, for the love of God, do not look over there. <laughs> eye contact. I told you not to make eye contact. Babe, he looks sweet. Okay. Just give him a dollar. No, I'm not doing that. Babe, come on. Do you know what they spend that money on, babe? They spend it on alcohol and crack. That is not true. Yes, it is. Babe, I don't have any cash on me. Just give him a dollar. I will not donate to drug use and irresponsibility. You are so stubborn sometimes. It's actually ridiculous. Where do you go? Oh, Just didn't look at him like I said. None of this would have happened. Just give him a dollar. Christ, look what you did, babe. This is all of your fault. Don't you see he's in distress? What the fuck are you doing? Get off my car. Just give him something, okay? This is the guy you want to give money to? The guy who's fucking my car? He just needs love. That's all he needs. This guy's not on crack? Hey, Eva. Get the fuck out of my car. Just give him the fucking dollar. Come on, you know, man. this asshole. Come on, baby. <laughs> Some action, okay. <laughs> Special effect, okay. It's over now. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who came out and for tuning in. Just like my pop up always used to say, you're gonna be a dad. Okay, you guys, let's get the countdown started. Five, four, three, two, four. One. God bless you, sir. God bless you, okay? You have a good day. Have a blessed day, sir. Yep. Yep. Okay. I told you he was sweet. You have a son? Okay. It's hard to make ends meet when Biden's policies are setting prices. Okay, very cool. Yeah, well, as all Tasman, we don't have camera for it, okay? So, uh. Okay. Yeah, that's why I can't play it, okay, so... Okay. Yeah, next one, yeah. TV emotion and his friends, okay? His colleagues, okay? Great comedy. Amazing comedy, okay, so... Very creative, okay? Yeah. Let's go. Let's sure. go. Mm -hmm. Just grab your coffee, brother. I'm ready when you are. We doing this? Uh-huh. Listen, Marty, Rome may have been built in a day, but our ancestors were probably in Caesars here talking about equity points. We want to bump this thing up or not? Excuse me, sir. Hey, tight. Yeah. If you could just lower your voice a little bit. I'm just I'm trying to look. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a library. Excuse me. You might be trying to work, but I am working. Close the video. Sorry about that, Mbone. So let's get that off or ink by Sunday. I want this thing wrapped tighter than a nun's behind my desk by morning. You can tell our guy he can either buy it now or cry with the cows when we're on the cover of Forbes in three months. Excuse me, sir. Two seconds, Marty. Yes, we I are. think I speak for everybody when you can either hang up the phone or go outside. It's really frustrating to work with. Excuse me? Ma'am, he's clearly on a pretty important call closing a deal. Can you just keep it down, please? He's working. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> You're the only one not working. Working? So. International Thirty more seconds. Hold your Great casting. Great acting. Why are you playing for both teams? Great acting and rising. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Marty, Great comedy. Man, I don't want to yeah. talk to anybody else. 
I think it was in the power or something, okay, so... <laughs> There's many good ones there, okay. <laughs> Fuck. I picked... Oh, an episode that's not age of inappropriate, okay? Yeah, we have to be age of prepare, okay? So, okay? Uh, yeah, we have to be age of prepare, okay? So, uh, how about this one? Sure, yeah. Well, nurses called a code. Yeah. Yeah, this is when I Christmas scene, okay? So, sure, yeah, it's. Uh, age of prepared, okay? Sure, yeah. Let's go, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Well, nurses called a code blue, which means there's a cute guy in the lobby. <laughs> and there he was. <laughs> hey, Kaylee, this guy was building you up so much. Talk about the perfect woman. We really thought he was making you up. <laughs> I'm still pinching myself that a neurosurgeon is actually into me. Wow. Chris didn't let me know that his parents were even sweeter than he is. I'll eat to that. My girlfriend's coming, too. Yeah, her flight got delayed, but she should be here any minute. So. And she's really attractive. She's very beautiful, and she's the real deal. So I'm just, I'm excited for you guys to meet her. Oh. I hope she's not too attractive, because between her and Kaylee, I will be overshadowed by all the beauty at this table. Right, you stop it right there. You'll always be the most beautiful woman in this universe. Well, I, hang on. I would be a little bit worried if I were your mom, because she's very beautiful, and she will be the best-looking woman at this table, including Kaylee, so... Really, dude? Yeah, she's hot. Many veterans and service members don't register with a political party. Okay, yeah, we'll let the uh, commercial go here, okay, so, I mean, I'm going to cut her for okay, so, okay.
Okay. But I like that rank choice over there, okay? I think it's a good idea, okay? So. Hmm? Adobe, yeah, I love Adobe Photoshop, okay? They're cool, okay? So, yeah. So. They're commercial, okay? So. Let's just mention them, okay? So, they were cool, okay? So. Okay, let's continue, okay? Yeah, Stevie Morrison is his friend, okay? Fantastic, high talent underground Hollywood in YouTube, okay? Uh, huge fan. I'm a huge fan. Okay? So, great comedy. This buddy. This is what it is. Ingenious, very smart, very evolved. Okay? The future generation of comedians, okay? So, absolutely. Yeah, in many ways, they are better than mainstream Hollywood, okay? So, yes, sir. Can't wait to find out. <clears throat> Boys. Be nice. It's Christmas. Yeah, I'm sure both my boys have beautiful girlfriends. But you're at least half right. I mean, it wasn't Kaylee's looks that first attracted me to her. It was her drive, her passion. You know, did I mention she's a neurosurgeon? You can never hear enough of it, honestly. Hey, Kaylee, please, tell us that. How did you get on this path? My older sister, Stephanie, she set out to find treatments for cystic fibrosis. And I was just so inspired. And I decided to go to med school. My girlfriend's a doctor, too. Dad. The one that's that's not a really successful one. That's wonderful, buddy. The... What kind of doctor is she? Right now, she's in the middle of working on um, the, the latest uh, edition of Cancer. Wow. The new one that that just dropped. That's admirable. Well, what's the outfit called? It's it's the Cancer Research Center in Somalia. Oh, the downtown kids. I'm excited for you guys to meet her. Can we eat now? How about that? What the, What's her name? Jennifer. Last name? Lopez. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez? Jennifer. He said Jennifer. Jennifer. With a soft A. Yeah, with an A. Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. Where's she from, babe? A lot of new names nowadays, huh? Very exotic. She is from France. Wow. Oh, baby! No, I saw one on entree francais palu. Oui, oui, listen, je sais que Don't do that when she gets here, though, because she doesn't speak French. Jennifer from France doesn't speak French. She doesn't speak French? How, how well, because she uh, was born in France, but she was raised in Portugal. The French... Portuguese. So when you say that, it sounds like a real thing. I'll stop being nosy, and I'll wait till she gets here, and I'll badger her with my mom questions. <laughs> but we are really excited to meet her. Yeah, we can't wait for her to not get here. But my girlfriend, who's sitting right next to me, actually won the Golden Scalpel Award. Wow. Guess how many lives she saved? I, I, don't, I don't know. Ten? 287. 288 is what Jennifer said. Exactly one more. Mm. Dad. That girl is superwoman. Mom, thank you, guys. Jesus Christ. She actually doesn't like to be compared to Jesus Christ. Definitely was not compared her to the son of our Lord. Okay, I just want to say we're proud of you both. And when she's not doing that, she works as a dog shelter. Um, oh, gosh. I love dogs. The dog shelter? To Dude, oh stop God. lying to my I don't dad. appreciate that you are now yelling at the dinner table. I don't really appreciate good. that you keep putting your arm around an inanimate object. <laughs> a George Foreman grill. Kaylee, did you read my mind? Well, she is a neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeons can't read minds? That would be a psychic, like what Jennifer is. Oh, Jennifer is a psychic. Now. Yes, Jennifer is <laughs> a psychic. I just didn't bring it up. You'd think if she was a psychic, she would be able to know that her flight was going to be oh, delayed. Oh, that's precognition, idiot. She's telepathic. She can read minds. Okay, guys, She's guys. a figment of your mind. She's going to be here soon. She exists. She won't be here because you're making things up. She will be here any then minute. Call her. I don't have her phone number. You don't have her phone number? No. Why don't you have her phone number, honey? We communicate through emails. She travels so much with work that the data roaming charges would be fiscally irresponsible. Is everything okay? Guys, you have to believe me. It's all right. We can get you help. Mom, Dad, I need you to believe me. You've never had a date to Christmas, and that's okay. okay. Let me get this straight. Your girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, who's from France but doesn't speak French because she was raised in Portugal, is currently on a delayed flight from Somalia after helping downtown cancer kids overcome their illnesses, all while balancing psychic appointments and sheltering dogs, and she doesn't have a phone? <laughs> Is there anything else? 
She's really excited to meet you guys. Yeah, fantastic, right? I have to stop enabling this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, underground Hollywood tenants, okay? It's not just Hollywood, California, Los Angeles, anywhere in the world, like social media, okay? Great talents there, okay? Well, I'm just giving you one example, that's all. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. All the amazing talents all around the world, right? Yeah, I'm just giving you one example, okay? Yeah, let's go to the next one, okay? Yeah. Birthday cake, soon. Yeah, okay? Yeah. Biden and Kamala and Mary Beltola took a map. Okay? Yeah, we love flakes. Yeah. Kellogg, absolutely. Yeah, what I really appreciate about uh, uh, the Steve Emerson and his friends, yeah, great casting, acting, directing, writing, okay, very ingenuity, creative, yeah, all different races, genders, ages, okay, very uh, diversity there, when it comes to age, race, gender, okay, great diversity, casting, okay, also great screenplay, acting, casting, directing, yeah, cinematography, fully artist, sounds, effects, music, very cool, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, post the cake, sir. Let's go. Yep. How was everything? Uh, perfect. I don't think I ever will. Well, we're so glad that you enjoyed it. Now, I hear that it is a special night for oh. a very special lady. Um, surprise! Honey. Birthday girl. And now happy birthday from our talented staff. Why did you tell them it's my birthday? I just wanted to try the cake. Come on. Oh, I did. <laughs> Hi. Happy birthday to you. That's amazing. Happy oh. birthday. The best for you. To you. Put some English on that. Happy birthday, oh. dear Rebecca. Happy birthday to you. Oh my. God, did you get any better than that? that? Okay, wow. What did they find you people? Yo, Ted, 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 Ted. It was a new take on an old classic. <laughs> That's weird, but. Huh. What's um, he doing here? He belongs at the opera, the Met. Did he look familiar to you? Maybe one of those failed American Idol auditions? <laughs> Probably. Tune into that cake. Let's oh, do it. Check it in. They're gonna get suspicious. You are really something. That's pretty good. He's back. Hi. Happy birthday. You know, it's okay. He's saying to us already. We're good. You know, you guys don't have to. Thank you, though. Happy birthday. And she's still singing. Ooh. Happy birthday. You're a better company. Still going at it. I'm telling you, we know that boy. He's been missing for weeks. Right, nobody's missing, all right? Enjoy your cake. Okay, I'm telling Let's you. Let's just dig into the cake and get out of here. Happy right. birthday! Okay, we, get, we, we, we heard this. Do okay, you? We get it. It's Bob and Carol's boy. I said happy birthday. Oh. Uh, on the phone. Jesus Christ, 
<laughs> Horror movie, okay? Scary movie. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, brainwashing, okay, okay. Yeah. Good lighting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. it really isn't your oh, yeah. Very nice. Oh, baby, can't get Guess what happens when you lie about your birthday? Nice. Yeah, yeah. Horror movie. Yeah. Thank you. Good editing. Fantastic. Don't to tell your birthday. It's a liar. Everyone does it. Not a big deal. Happy birthday. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, so like a uh, great underground Hollywood talent, okay? Yeah, I mean, better than Academy Awards winners, okay? Yeah, great underground Hollywood talent. Nowadays, yeah, what's better than this? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to go to Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, okay? You can be where you're at and, yeah. With your cell phone camera, high definition cell phone camera this way, 2024 year, okay? Yeah, you can make movies where you're at, okay? Short story, short film, maybe feature film, okay? And then, yeah, by yourself or your, with your friends, okay? Then make movie, come with a very good, interesting, creative story, okay? And then you submit to film festivals, okay? Okay? Well, just all to YouTube or Dermojon, Vimeo, whatever, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. High talent, right? Yeah, okay? Okay? Yeah, I predicted this, like, about what, 10 years ago, something like that, though. Globalization, democracy, democratization of Hollywood, right? Yeah, I hope for it, prayed for it, and now we are here. Yeah, globalization, internationalization, democratization of Hollywood, okay? You don't have to come to Los Angeles, California, America, Hollywood, okay? Yeah, you can be where you are at and take some Yeah, it could be video camera or it could be a cell phone camera, okay? Yeah, and then make a movie. Okay. Or road to YouTube, Vimeo, or Dynamotion. Or before that, yeah, you may want to upload, uh, submit to film festivals, okay? International, okay? Good times, right? Okay? Yeah. Alright, yeah, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? So, yeah, filmmaking, fantastic, okay? Yeah, I've been dead business for a while, okay? Yeah, yeah didn't I make any money? I spent a lot of money, maybe $5,000, $10,000. Like yeah, therapy for mental family in YouTube, okay? But, yeah, uh, maybe cult classic, maybe, okay? A few good people like you and me, okay? Appreciate that movie, okay? But you, yeah, maybe uh, most likely you, if you're in filmmaking, okay, yeah, you make way better than what I did, okay? Yeah, Be, bigger and better than me, okay? I'm like your teacher, parents, okay? Yeah, be bigger and better than me, yeah, make better movie than therapy movie, okay? Sure, I want you to. If you're into filmmaking, okay? See you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good night. Mm -hmm. Very proud. Yeah, martial arts, education, and current development, okay? Future leaders, very proud, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm.